We've been in Haddonfield for about 50 years now, and we love South Jersey. It's, uh, uh, I refer to South Jersey when I was elected official as South Jersey, the secret state. So, but, but that's, that's a matter of what your heart is, but then is what do you do with it? And my sense was uh, living in Haddonfield, uh, I had a strong feeling about what could we do to help our neighbors in Camden. And that's where one of my, one of my passions was in that context. And people would say, well, why are you so interested in what's going on in Camden? And I said, I'll give you an example. Two women go to Cooper, both deliver a baby boy. One woman from Camden, one woman from Haddonfield. Two days later, they go home. One woman goes back to Camden, one woman goes back to Haddonfield. Why do those kids have to drop, live, grow up in such a different world? Our job, if we care about humans and about other people in the world, our job is to level that playing field. The gift of giving really is, is comes from the giver. You understanding and helping and seeing people, seeing making a difference. It's not a habit. We all start out with 160 hours in a week. It's what we do with it, with our time. And uh, for both of us, the, the joy is giving. Like you just don't, you don't do it because you get an award, you get a you get recognized. You do it because I always tell the kids, you do something that feeds your soul. You begin your life and your life with your family. It's what you do in between with the family that counts. Our Sarah was diagnosed when she was seven months pregnant with our grandson, McAllister. Um, diagnosed with leukemia. With leukemia. So she fought for three years. Um, she passed away when Cal was um, just three. Um, and friends of ours came to us and said, we'd really like to do something. So they suggested a golf outing. And then now, uh, initially it went just to leukemia. and. We realize that there's a lot of organizations that really support the families because you realize when you have somebody in that situation, because I would spend the nights there, many nights I spent at the hospital, you realize there's people there that are alone and don't have anybody. So one of the things we did is um, to get involved with people that support families. The gift in giving is the pleasure you get yourself of helping somebody else and knowing full well that someone, you're making a difference with other people's lives and Barbara and I, that's been part of our life. It's a, it's a very much a part of our life. Well, you realize that when somebody is fighting um, something so serious, that it's not, it's not that person. It, it affects the family and the children and everyone around them. So if you can give them that support, um, that's, that's really wonderful. Going back to Sarah Tardity Gallagher Memorial Organization, our motto is, every day's a gift. Our closest friend, Joe Linker, who was my business partner, we went to see him the day he was dying. We went over and spent a couple hours with him, and he was really out of it. You knew he was at the end of the road. As we walked out the door, we said to Mary Jane, have you called hospice yet? And Mary Jane says, Joe doesn't want hospice. I said, Mary Jane, hospice right now is for you and the family. She called Samaritan Hospice right away, a nurse stayed on the phone with them until the nurse got to her house. The nurse stayed there until Joe passed away at 11 o'clock that night. And that, that really allowed him and the family for him to pass with dignity. And that's the difference you folks make. That was her comment, actually. And that's what we said to her. It's for you. You're numb when these things are happening. And it's nice to have somebody who can sort of reassure you that you're doing the right thing. When you say hospice, they always think of the patient, but they don't think of the family that they support. People need to realize that it's not just the patient. They give support and, and for everybody. If you call them, they call you right back. People don't realize you can call them at one in the morning and say, what do we need to do here? Or this is what I did, is it okay? And they reassure you that yes, it is. But I think the, the, the experience of having somebody like Samaritan or even the hospice movement around the country changes the whole end of life for the families and makes it much more dignified. And it's, uh, it's certainly a blessing.